the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, very similar cars being built on the same platform, same battery technology, you know, pretty much same, same sort of things, just with a different body shell, different looking interior. Well, huge demand. There is huge demand for these two cars. Australia, we're getting very few of them, very, very few. However, interestingly, sales of these two cars are actually doing very well in the US. And the fascinating part about all of this is that it seems as though a very, very large percentage of all Kia EV6s and Ionic 5s manufactured worldwide are actually going to the United States. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. I really appreciate your support, and it's fantastic to see you today. Kia EV6 and the Ionic 5. Sales in the US have been going very, very well this year in comparison to last year, right? Well, first of all, they weren't even on sale last year for the same quarter. In the same quarter, for the first quarter of 2021, they weren't on sale in the US, which is the data we have right now. But the interesting thing is Volkswagen ID3 sales have basically collapsed in the United States. Sorry, ID4. And the ID4 is the only Volkswagen model available in the US. Clearly, it's a it's a direct competitor for the Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6. And Volkswagen is just, well, I don't know what's happening with their production. It's just slumped. Or they're just choosing not to send them to the US. That said, they are going to be opening a new factory building EVs in the US soon. So let's have a look at the sales of the EV6 and the Ionic 5 in the US to see what's going on with Kia and Hyundai and their claims that they are going to dominate the electric vehicle market worldwide in 2025. In June, Hyundai sold 63,000 cars in the US, which is 13% less than a year ago. The year-to-date result of 343,000 is down 16% year over year. Hyundai's problem, as is the case with other manufacturers, apparently is limited supply. Hyundai themselves in the US said, our dealers are selling everything they get and we are continuing our efforts on growing market share. Well, they're not really growing it right now. Anyhow, the all-electric Hyundai Ioniq 5 noted a new monthly record in June of 2,853 sales, 4.5%. So 4.5% of all Hyundai vehicles sold in the US were electric. During the second quarter, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 sales amounted to 7,500, which is a new record. The cumulative number is 13,845. It means that 25,000 to 30,000 units should be possible in 2022, which would be a pretty significant ramp up over their numbers last year. What about the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that Hyundai sell in the US, the Hyundai Nexo? Well, 49 of those were sold. That's an increase of 123%. And that means they've sold 271 of them a year to date. Quite incredible that they're um, still selling hydrogen vehicles right now. Worldwide, in May of 2022, Hyundai delivered only 8,000 Ionic 5. So you can see that the number of deliveries in the US represents about 25% of their global deliveries. That's incredible, 25%. But it does show you that they're currently not manufacturing all that many of them at all. I mean, only 8,000 a month really is a pretty low number considering there's about 10 different Chinese auto companies all producing over 10,000 per month, 10, many of them that no one have ever heard of. So far this year worldwide, Hyundai have delivered 44,000 electric Ionic 5s. Ionic 5s from January to May of 2022. So during five months, they've delivered 44,000. Means they're at a run rate of about, what, 8,000 a month. Now, what about the Kia EV6? Personally, I would prefer the Ionic 5. I, I like the look of it more. It looks more, it actually, apparently has a slightly bigger boot. For me, that's pretty important when you kind of get bikes and gear into the car. But a lot of people prefer the EV6. Now, Kia EV6 sales exceeded 2,500 in June of 2022 in the US. So just a little bit less than the Ionic 5. In the second quarter of this year, Kia has delivered 7,000 with over 12,000 in total since the model was released. Kia America reports that its car sales in the US decreased by about 5% year over year to 65,000. So the decrease for Kia has been a little bit lower than the de decrease for Hyundai. However, the results after six months show that Kia's car deliveries in the US are down 12% 
to 333,000. However, Kia's electric vehicle deliveries are definitely up compared to last year. Deliveries of the EV6 were 2,567. That's 4% of Kia's total volume. So only 4%. I think it could be a lot, lot more than that if they could get more volume of these cars. Now looking at the Kia EV6 worldwide, in May of 2022, Kia delivered 7,700 of these worldwide. That was from January to May. That meant the Kia EV6 was the 18th highest selling electric car in the world in May. From January to May of this year, so the first five months of this year, Kia delivered 34,600 EV6s worldwide. So that's almost exactly 7,000 per month. And this shows you that while a bit more than 25% of all Kia EV6s being manufactured worldwide are going to the United States market. Clearly, US buyers really like the EV6, they really like the Ionic 5. And I think this really disproves this idea that Americans don't want EVs. They clearly do. Kia and Hyundai say they have a huge backlog of pre-orders for the Ionic 5 and the EV6. For good reason. They're really good cars. Now, what I want to know is if you've had an experience with Kia and Hyundai marking the prices up of these cars, let us know in the comment section below. If you had an experience of ordering one, how the process has gone with your car, getting it, the ordering process, have you had to wait very long? Now, here in Australia, they're extremely difficult to get these cars. The waiting list is, you know, if you want to try and order one now, you're waiting at least a year, probably longer than that, because they're very, very popular and only a very, very small number have been delivered to our market. Now, hope you've enjoyed the video and you've seen these delivery numbers for the US. They're still pretty small, clearly. But hopefully, Kia and Hyundai can ramp those numbers up and start getting more electric cars into the US market. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.